So what is uh, n we have to find? I is, what is I in this question? 3.79. Is my voice clear? I was asking what is the interest rate? 3.79. Present value? 200,000. Uh, 200, PMT, any regular payment? Yeah, uh, 1250. Yeah, we are paying 1250 at the end of every month. So we are paying monthly. So when we are paying, we will be putting it as minus because money is going out of our pocket. Future value. What will be the future value of the loan? Zero. Tell me. Zero. Because once we are paying the loan, in future, future value of the loan will become zero. It will end. So how many payments are we making in a year? Payment in a year? 12. 12. We are making 12 payments because it's a monthly payment. Now, yes. CPY, compounding is happening. 12. Yeah, compounding is happening also monthly, which means 12. 12 times compounding is going to happen. Beginning or end? End. End. Very good. So, after putting it into GDC, you are getting the answer as 223. Point point two one. one. Very yes. good. But the question is asking, find the number of years and months. And what is this? 223 is what? 223 is only months. Making sense? Yeah. So we have to convert it into years. So to convert it into years, we have to divide by 12. Make sense? Yeah, so it's 18.5. So divided by 12, you will get 18.6 years. So 18, we do not say 18.6 in real life. So we have to convert this thing. So 18.6 years means 18 years and 0.6 years. Yeah, so we have to convert this part into months. So, so how do we convert this? 12. Yes, 0 0.6 into 12. So 18 years, 0 0.6 into 12 will give you what? 7.2. 7.2. And we will round up. So this will give me 7.2, which will give me 8. Round. round up. Always round up. Because 7th month is done. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So this is 7th month is done. And point 0.2 means little bit ahead. So that means we have entered, let's say seventh month is July. Okay. So we will go for June also. We will go for June also. It will enter the next month. So eight years, 18 years and eight months. That is the final answer. Is that from clear? Why we are rounding up? Yeah. Okay, moving on to the B part. Let me just copy this thing. B part. Calculate the amount, total amount that Ray has paid in amortizing, amortizing the loan. That means how much money the person has paid in total. So over here, always use the decimal, decimal value, the, the calculator value. So, 
how much money the person is paying? 1250. So 1250, the person is paying every month. How many months? 223.21. Always remember, take decimal also. Bank is not going to leave even a single penny. So if you multiply this thing, you will get 279.012.5. That much dollar amount we are going to pay. But the question is asking, calculate the total amount that he has to pay. So that's it. Is that thing clear? Do we have to round off in this thing? Calculate the total amount. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah, tell me. Any doubt? Uh, no, I'm sorry. Uh, so if I multiply those, I'm getting, uh, I'm not getting the point five value over there. This point value? No, there is no point value. It just says 279013. Huh. So you can round off to 279013. This is also correct. This is also correct. Okay. Yeah. No. Third part. So third part. Ray decide to increase the monthly payment to this. Justify the decision. So should he uh, do this decision or not? So. We have to first of all calculate how much time it will take to finish the payment. Can you quickly calculate how much time it will take using GDC? Same table thing. So N we have to calculate PMT this time is minus 1500. Rest everything will remain same. Yes or no? Yes, the same thing. Yeah. So what is the answer you are getting? N value? Just give me one second. Okay. So in the meantime, let me just shift this thing. Sir, I got 173.35. Very good. So 173.35 months he's going to take. Now, yes. he's taking less time. So justification first point is less time. But that is not the only case. I should save money over here. So we have to calculate like the way we calculate over here. How much money I have paid? I have paid $27,000. No, $2,79,000. Yes or no? In the last case. So we have to calculate how much money I am paying in this case. Total amortization. So how much money I'm paying? 1500. How much time? 173.35. Tell me how much money I have paid. Let me use my calculator. So 1500 multiplied by 173.35. So I'm paying two lakh sixty thousand. Okay, two lakh sixty thousand dollar. So saving. 
seven. Earlier I was paying almost two seven nine zero three two six zero zero two five. So how much saving I'm making? Into two two three point two one into the value you just got. Sorry, over here one is also there. So I'm getting close to eighteen nine eight eight, close to nineteen thousand. I'm saving. That's it. So that is my second argument. Okay, so less time and saving nineteen thousand dollar overall in the interest payment. Is that thing clear? You guys yes, can sir. use this as an IA also. We there there is a possibility of bringing out IA from these kind of questions. But anyway, so let me just close this thing.